So what's the difference between distance and displacement? Well, it's like this. If we assume that on our paper, north is towards the top of the paper, south is towards the bottom of the paper, west is towards the left, east is going to be towards the right. Let's suppose that we start at point X and walk or run a distance to point Y. And that distance is going to be 100 meters. Well, in this case, the distance that you walked was 100 meters. The displacement, your displacement, is 100 meters east. The difference between distance and displacement. Distance is the length of the path that you travel. Displacement is the distance and direction between the starting point and the ending point. And you notice displacement has a distance and a direction. That means that distance is what's referred to as a scalar quantity. It only has a measurement. It only has a quantity. It doesn't have a direction. But displacement is referred to as a vector quantity. It has a direction, unlike distance. So in this case, the distance that we traveled from X to Y was 100 meters. Yet the displacement was 100 meters east. Now let's look at a second example. Let's suppose that we start at point X again and walk to point Y and then turn around and walk halfway back again. Well, in this case, the distance we travel is going to be 150 meters. And yet our displacement, the distance between and direction between starting point and ending point, our displacement is 50 meters east because we have been displaced 50 meters from point X in the direction of east. Let's take a look at a third situation. We're going to walk again from X to Y. And we're going to turn around and walk all the way back to X again. Now the distance we travel in this case is 100 meters to Y and 100 meters back. That's a total of 200 meters. Our displacement now is going to be 0 meters simply because we are no longer displaced from that starting point, X. Remember that displacement is the total distance and direction between the starting point and the ending point. And our ending point now is back at X again. So really we're saying we have not been displaced. We did travel a distance 200 meters. And yet we weren't displaced from the beginning point X. So our displacement is zero meters. And that is the difference between distance and displacement.